Tuesday is uh, it's a really important day in our nation. But I don't, I don't want us to forget that, that Jesus isn't reelected every four years. And that God is not waiting to see the results of the ballot box to decide if he's still in control. The angels are not pacing in heaven. And God is not sending out his angels to do a massive blitz across our nation to ensure that his will gets done because he's God and no one thwarts his will. And democracy, in in my opinion, is the greatest human plan for our flourishing. But it is indeed just that, It's, it's man's best plans. But we are first and foremost citizens of heaven, y'all. And we serve a king who sits on a throne that will never, ever, ever go away. And we have a dual citizenship. We are both kingdoms. We both are members of the kingdom of God and kingdom of this world. And we have to remember again that our king is not up for reelection. And we just have this faith that is not national, but it's global. And as citizens of the kingdom of God, this is an incredibly important time, not only for our hearts to be calm and to be steadfast and to be sure that our God has not left his throne, but also to remind ourselves that we are sojourners and our life is but a vapor and this land right now is our home, but it is not, it is not our forever home. And I don't know if you've noticed this, but we've, we've got a really toxic political climate. My 43 years, I've never seen it like this. It has an impact on our lives, our homes, and I'm praying that it doesn't have an impact on the local church. Because the local church already has a king and we have a gospel centrality that we cannot lose. And so as clearly as I could say to you this morning, I I want you to know that if the candidate that you're voting for on Tuesday wins, our Savior has not arrived. And, And if the candidate that you're hoping doesn't get elected is indeed elected, then all is not lost. Because the the last time I read the Bible, it told me that there is a God who rules and reigns over all. And he puts kings in power and he takes kings from power. He rises nations to power and he allows them to crumble. And so as we approach Tuesday, I want you with all that you have to be settled and to be sure and to be confident. Not in the results of the election, but in the one who spoke creation into existence. And the Bible tells us in 1 Timothy chapter 2 that we should at times like this pray. And I want to read this passage, and then I want us to pray. I want us to pray things like, God, protect our land. God, continue to advance freedom here so that not only us can enjoy that, but we can continue to send missionaries to the ends of the earth so that all might hear the gospel. I want us to pray that we get leaders that honor God and not leaders that our our dark and wondering hearts would deserve. First Timothy chapter two says, first of all then, I urge that petitions, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgiving be made for everyone, 
for kings and for all those who are in authority so that we may lead a tranquil and quiet life in all godliness and dignity. And this is good and it pleases God our Savior who wants everyone to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. I urge you that petitions, prayers, and intercessions and thanksgiving be made for everyone, for kings and all of those who are in authority. And so church, that is exactly what we're going to do now. We're gonna pray. And I invite you to pray to the God of heaven, regardless of your political affiliation. We are first and foremost citizens of the kingdom of God, amen?